What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ariel, if you don't already know. I do men's luxury and fashion lifestyle content. If you enjoy content like this, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up below, and also drop me some comments at the end of this video, just kind of letting me know your thoughts. I like to chop it up with you guys and just get your opinions and takes on the topic at hand. Today, we're gonna be talking about some of my best and worst pickups throughout the year from last year, 2022, and just the last couple of months leading up to right now, just some of the things that I feel like I've picked up that I've been getting a lot of use out of and some of the pieces that I just feel like were a dud were lemons I ended up buying them they have just been sitting so more than likely either these pieces are already gone from my closet because I've already sold them or they're on their way out so without further ado let's jump into some of these good pickups and uh, starting off I had this t-shirt this vintage public enemy t-shirt back in the day it's honestly like one of my favorites this is a single stitch vintage public enemy tee I used to have it like like maybe six or seven years ago lost a lot of weight ended up selling it ended up taking this one in a size large because again I did lose weight I just wanted it a little bit more that's a little bit more form fitting it's like a washed out black charcoal gray on the tummy area it has this like silver graphic it's like a silver foil graphic with the classic public enemy shooter logo that has enemy just kind of classic across the front almost in like a baseball vintage font the back it just has the same graphic as in the front just really really large with vintage tortillas especially now you have to really be careful about purchasing just because there are a lot of dupes and a lot of bootlegs that they are pumping out there are such things as vintage bootlegs where back in the day outside of concerts they used to have guys who were literally just screen printing and pumping out t-shirts on the sides of streets bootlegging the official stuff that was going on in the concert so in that sense there are authentic bootlegs but then there are like reprints of the original tortillas like this one so when it comes down to it really know what you guys are searching for and what you guys are shopping for research before buying these things because they're not cheap you also don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a reprint there's nothing wrong with wearing a reprint if you're okay with it personally just like having the vintage original piece just because i like the idea of it i like that it's this old and it's still holding up after x amount of years i just find that that's as authentic as it gets but it's not that serious like if you really just like the graphic of a t-shirt wear it just because you like it but if you are trying to invest in a vintage t-shirt just do your research on the certain specifics that that shirt should have and just before we go on i'm not wearing a sneaker just because i'm in the house but today's fit is just going to be this public enemy vintage shirt as i already stated and then i'm just wearing some distress vintage levi's on the legs jumping into a piece that you guys have seen me wear in a couple of the vlogs around christmas time i didn't touch too deeply on this um because when i got it that's when i ended up taking like my little break to kind of just do my closet clean out and all that stuff and just take time for myself but this is my double rl ralph lauren's western line so ralph lauren has purple label used to have black label polo ralph lauren a couple other diffusion lines that he had in between there but double rl is the one that i feel resonates the most with my style goes with a lot of the pieces that I have in my current wardrobe it pairs very, very well with a lot of my Saint Laurent pieces, Celine pieces, and just in general, I feel like when you're trying to kind of find pieces to cross blend with the Eddie aesthetic and just Western rock and roll aesthetic in general, I feel like you can find some of the best pieces from Double RL. Pieces like this one in front of us are very limited in production. When I do link these things in the description box below for you guys, how easy it's gonna be to find this, but I will find similar pieces from current collections. But this is my Double RL indigo dyed kimono jacket. Very similar in shape to like a cardigan, but then it also has this outerwear jacket like feel so it's a little bit dressier i've been wearing this and pairing it back with one of my other pickups that i'll get into that i've actually picked up a ton of it is the uniqlo heat tech turtleneck but we'll jump into that after this i just feel like this is like such a clean classy elevated piece it does have hints throughout of that like rock star chic feel that i love so it has just this like distress fringe at the very bottom hem and then throughout it has very very unique pattern 
that's been fully indigo dyed. Another nice little touch to it is, again, since it is a kimono, robe, cardigan-esque piece, it's gonna have this belt so that if you want, you could just kind of cinch it in the front and it'll just be a little bit more fitted and snug and a little bit more polished. Or if you wanna just rock it open, wear a t-shirt underneath it and just be a little bit more casual, you can do that as well. I've been wearing this a lot with turtlenecks since it is the colder season. To get the most use out of it, it's great paired back with the turtleneck like I was explaining. As we approach and go into spring, I could definitely do this with t-shirts as I will show you guys now, just how it looks. It's a great weight, but it's not something that is gonna keep you super, super warm, which is why, again, I've been pairing it back with the Uniqlo Heat Tech turtlenecks because I get the warmth that I want, but then I also just have a lighter feel. And it's not super bulky, which is something that I shoot for a lot of the times. I don't really like to be super, super bundled up all the time, but I do want to stay warm and not get cold. So this is a great layering piece paired with the public anime t-shirt and some vintage jeans. Just super polished. It has a lot of detail to it and very grown. You're not going to see a lot of people with this. The black and blue color gives you the options of wearing it with both lighter pieces and then also darker pieces. So. I would pair this back with like my Wyatt boot or just a white trainer, white sneaker and just go out be a little bit more casual. So Ralph Lauren ends up doing different versions of this every season. Sometimes they're not always an indigo dyed, sometimes they are like a brown. Um, they might have different types of motifs. One has almost like a striped pattern, many different designs. So I will try to find something that's super, super similar if I can't find this exact one, but all of them honestly are super unique. And again, it's just a polished up layering piece that I think is great in any wardrobe. With this piece, I have been getting a ton of use out of, and I just think that it's something that long-term is gonna be in my closet and I could just build with it, style it a bunch of different ways with a lot of the stuff that I have already. But I think that it was a great investment piece for long-term use. These I actually ended up picking up more recently, louder of a piece than I would typically wear, but certain pieces that you just see, and if you're gravitated towards it, it's just something that is special and it kind of just catches your eye. Kind of have to do it. So these are Celine track pants in this abstract, almost like graffiti-like print, if you guys can see. It almost looks like an abstract graffiti print super unique the fit of these is a flare these ended up coming out for cosmic cruiser collection honestly it has been one of my favorite collections that eddie has done under celine very very similar in essence to surf sound collection that he did for Saint Laurent. these i just feel like are for those chill cozy days when i don't really feel like dressing up all that much if you know you know type piece low-key celine branding on the side but far you can't even tell that they're Celine unless you really, really know your collections and know the standout pieces from them. These did come in short versions. My track jacket also came out for this. I think honestly, like I, I wouldn't do the full suit of it. I just think that the pants are honestly enough. The track pants for me honestly just hit every aspect on the head that I needed. I could honestly pair this back with the Public Enemy t-shirt now. My Rick Birkenstocks or sneakers for a chill look. The other thing that I like about these track pants is that since they are a bit abstract, they have that elevated look to them. But if I wanna wear them with sneakers or I wanna dress them up a little bit more with boots, and maybe a dress shirt, it does give it that polished look that I wanna achieve with it. So definitely a plus with these types of pieces where you can get dual functionality with them. It's not something that's limited to just one look. You can really do a lot with them. So it's something that I felt was a plus in this case with something that's so loud start with this one right here. This is the Uniqlo puffer jacket. I don't know the official name, pretty much like this. It's fully down puffer jacket and it's super unique because it almost is seamless. If you guys can see that, like there's literally no stitch marks down in it. One of the cleanest black puffer jackets that I've ever seen. I was in the market for something that I could just use on the daily that's easy. Sleeve taper, body fits perfect, it's not like oversized honestly the vetma is oversized and it's huge but with something like this with a puffer that i'm gonna wear on a daily just running to work or running errands quick 
I didn't want something that's crazy puffy. I wanted something that still looks sleek, still looks smart, and honestly, it's just low key. Uniqlo hit it perfectly on the head with this puffer jacket. Online, this thing's always sold out. I originally gone to Uniqlo to get turtlenecks that we're gonna get into. I wasn't planning on grabbing this because it's always, like I said, sold out. I ended up scoring it and I found the last one in a size large. It's just such a good puffer jacket. It keeps you extremely warm. I do love these bent zipper pulls. I think that that's something that distinctly makes this not look like Uniqlo, which is very cool in my opinion. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with Uniqlo or anything like that. I love Uniqlo. I think that they have amazing pieces, but this zipper pull and a lot of the elements of this jacket give off a high fashion feel, which I love. A lot of the details that this jacket does have are of a high fashion piece which i absolutely felt was nailing it on the head for everything that i was looking for in a daily puffer jacket now let's get into the fit one of the coolest things is that it has the hood already built into the puffer jacket just the fit of it is not super obnoxious perfect length also it's at my waist inside it has this snap pocket, snap concealed, so you can put your wallet in there. On this side, it has this bigger, like, open pocket here. I put my beanie in there when I'm already, like, done with it. And this thing is so warm. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, this um, weather in New York a couple weeks ago, where it was, like, literally, like, like, one degree. And I know for all the people in Canada, that's nothing. Don't roast me in the comments but for us new yorkers that's really really cold this thing kept me so warm and honestly i just had like again the uniqlo turtleneck the heat tech and i had this and i was cooking so for the money that this costs which is nothing in comparison to the technology that's gone into this jacket i just feel like it's worth it if you guys are looking for like the perfect puffer coat you heard it here first perfect puffer coat uniqlo got it zip this up so you can see again show you the inside pockets are lined in fleece which is also a bonus when it's cold the cool thing about this is that it's such a unique shape in itself where it's seamless and it has an avant-garde feel but then it also works very well if i want to pair it back with distressed jeans and boots and layer it over like a jean jacket or a denim shirt I've done that with this and it looks so nice and so sleek. It's literally the perfect puffer jacket to do everything with. I've also worn it with my Rick um, in a very avant-garde fit. And if I have photos, I'll include the fit pick on the side so you guys can just see how it all basically laid out. I just feel like this is the, the best all around puffer jacket for styling purposes and also just to be warm. So you guys have seen this so many times already on vlog, so many times on my Instagram. If you're not already following me, follow me at era.rosado29 for daily fit picks, reels, and style content. Do that on the daily. If you haven't already followed me, you're slacking. So, Vetma, not Vetmins, not any of that. It's Vetma by Demna. Oversized bomber jacket. This is the women's oversized Alpha Industries collaboration that Demna did with them. A couple years back, this is the one that reverses to a hot pink fuchsia color. And then on this side, it's more of a light pale pink which i love this colorway honestly goes perfectly with every single thing in my closet and just pairs perfectly with neutral colors it's very very fun the silhouette of it is very oversized a lot of the direction that a lot of these brands have been going in and just playing with the idea of oversized pieces with slimmer silhouettes i felt like going back into the archive and grabbing one of the original key oversized pieces from one of the best collections that demna has done I wanted to grab one of these oversized alpha industries x vetma collaboration bombers i ended up picking this up on the secondary market it. pieces are getting so hard to find nowadays this was one of my best pickups worn this jacket non-stop for months i was even wearing it during the summer on breezy days just because i was so ecstatic to have it during the ending of the summer not during the, like scorching hot days of the summer but for those of you guys who haven't seen the vlogs where i was wearing it i'm gonna toss it on now now it looks a little crazy with these pants. I wouldn't wear it with these pants, but I'm trying it on right now. I think I can pull it off. And I do love that it can just like sling off the shoulder. 
before anybody goes and roasts me in the comments and no i wouldn't pair this back with these track pants it's just because this is what i have on right now and i just want to show you guys the silhouette of this bomber jacket so with these pieces these are becoming harder and harder to find nowadays especially for a decent price um the retail when these came out was already crazy high um and clearly on the aftermarket it's just going up by the day if i can find any of the originals i will link them in the description box below for you guys so you can easily find them i think the vetma did end up doing another collaboration with alpha industries recently but um the original ones in my opinion were some of the best colorways and some of the best fits that i've ever seen i will link whatever i can find on the secondary market below as well as some of the new ones if they are still available again in the description box below this is how i would wear these track pants as you guys just saw this again as we spoke about earlier this is the heavier version of the uniqlo heat tech turtleneck I tell you guys that once i bought one of these i was instantly hooked i have about three of these they get so much wear and rotation in my closet in the last couple of months that it's crazy i honestly want to go and pick up a couple of them in like a gray color and maybe even like a camel color now this is one of those great pieces where you can elevate any outfit if you don't already have a turtleneck i suggest you take my advice now run your nearest uniqlo or even better than that go to the description box below it'll be linked for you so you don't have to do all of that you could literally just buy it have it shipped to your house this is the best turtleneck that i've ever had the comfort of this thing is top notch it's super super cozy super comfortable it keeps you so warm if you're the type of person that doesn't like to have a bunch of layers on and just wants to look sharp but also be extremely warm while you're out and about running your errands or going to dinner on a date this is for you if you want to look polished and put together just want to be classy and keep it very easy for yourself pair it back with some black jeans some boots this is for you this is honestly one of my favorite and best pickups that i've done and gives you the smart sharp look opposed to just the casual look so do the turtleneck do the uniqlo one i don't know be making me feel some type of way take my advice go grab this turtleneck and honestly it pairs well with the track pan i might do this fit tomorrow I've been talking a lot about just amazing purchases and amazing pieces that I feel like I've picked up in the last couple of months. I'm going to show you something that I felt wasn't getting enough wear just because I felt like I wasn't pushing myself enough with them. They were sitting in my closet for quite some time and only got one or two wears, but as of lately, they went from the for sale pile back into the rotation. We're going to jump into them now. A lot of the stuff that weren't good pickups have either sold them or gifted them to friends but this is going to be the final piece i show there's a bunch of other pieces that i felt were good pickups but i just feel like this vlog is already dragging you guys will see them honestly in a couple of the next vlogs but we're gonna jump into these that were in my to-go list but have made a comeback so this is the rick owens cyclops turbo biker boot basically like an oversized chelsea boot honestly love this boot it's very very oversized and i'm not gonna lie it's an extremely heavy boot i love the silhouette of the boot it's definitely something that pushes the limit i think that you have to really understand how to wear these boots they don't pair well with every single piece so you definitely have to have specific fits for them and specific pants i think that the pants are key when pairing these boots back with anything. Rick pants pair, clearly pair well with them, but if you're going for a jean or anything like that, it's kind of limited. As far as my experience goes with them so far, flare jeans are the best just because they kind of puddle and control the silhouette of this boot the best. A skinny jean is just not it for these. I just feel like these are too large and in charge and the only skinny pant that i've been able to pull them off with is the bauhaus cargo pants by rick that i also have their favorite from the last couple of months i was gonna get rid of these and something told me push myself find those pieces that they pair well with just because it's such a unique silhouette and it's one of my favorite rick boots that have ever come out it's just a hard heavy wear but I have found my ways to kind of wear them. I honestly think that they would also pair very well with these Celine track pants. But yeah, this was in my, 
bad worst purchases of the year but feel like it's turning around the camera cut out anyways what i was saying was that these at first were something that i just felt were hard to wear and hard to just kind of pair with some of the pieces in my closet i felt like i was kind of limited with my wear on these but now i just feel like it's just about knowing the pieces that work with it and pushing myself. So getting a lot of use out of them as of lately, um, just with certain silhouettes of pants that I have picked up. I just feel like it looks best with either strictly Rick trousers or just baggy silhouette pants. So I definitely want to pick up a pair of like black baggy cargo pants because I feel like they would pair back really, really well with these. I'm going to try them on with the Celine track pants and just kind of see how they look because I feel like the Celine, since it is a flare, it will puddle like perfectly, like up to this point. I'm gonna try it on now. It balances out the silhouette of the boots to the pants, like the ratio you guys can see from the side. I'm gonna roll footage so you guys can see what I see. So I'm gonna cap this vlog off here. Let me know in the comment section below which pickup you guys felt was the best. You guys felt like some of them were whack. Let me know in the comment section below. I like to chop it up with you guys. If you are new to this channel, welcome again. My name is Ariel. I do men's luxury fashion and lifestyle content. If you're enjoying content like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. Helps my algorithm out. Helps me get my channel out there to more like-minded people like us who enjoy fashion content. And I'd very much appreciate that. Also follow me on Instagram for daily fit picks and reels at Ariel.Rosado29. And I will see all of you guys in the next vlog. Later guys.